Here we have a problem that asks us to find the dimensions of a rectangle whose width is two inches less than half its length and whose area is 160 square inches. Okay, wow, that's a lot going on. Let's draw a picture because these words have a way of getting all tangled up, right? Anytime you can draw a picture, you should draw a picture. That holds all the way through calculus. Pretend that that is a perfect rectangle and beyond. Um, so let's see. Here's a rectangle. We got that. Whose width is two inches less than half its length. So let's let length be x. All right. We'll just let length be the x. And the width is two inches less than, so that's subtracted, than half its length. Okay, there we go. Two inches less than half its length. See how that works there? And then it tells us that this whole area is 160 square inches. Okay, well, we need to know the equation for the area of a rectangle. It is simply length times width. We'll call this bit down here length. We'll call this width. And we know that the whole area is 160. So that gives us 160 equals length times width. Oh, but length is x. Length is x. There we go. Okay. So now we just need to solve this equation and that'll get us in the right direction. Let's go ahead and distribute this x through. So we have 160 equals 1 half x squared minus 2x Next, I don't want to factor with fractions, so I'm going to clear the fractions. I can do this because there's an equal sign by multiplying both sides by 2. All right, so now we have 320 equals x squared minus 4x. Okay. Well, anything with x squared in it likes to be set equal to 0, so let's do that x squared minus 4x minus 320 equals 0. Okay, so let's factor this. Remember the c term goes up here, 320. The b term goes down here. So we need factors of 320 that add to negative 4. Factors of 320 that add to negative 4. I don't want to start from the very beginning at 1 and 320, right? I don't want to go 1 and 320, you know, 2 and 160, all that stuff. That's going to take all day. This is a small number, 4, so I'm going to start relatively in the middle of the possible factors of this. To get a good approximation of that, what that would be, just take the square root. So the square root of 320 is about 17.9. So that tells us where to start. So let's try dividing it by 18. No, we can't divide it by 18. We divide it by 19. No, can't divide it by 19. Let's try 320 divided by 2016. Yes, and that's what we want. So 20 times 16. That's good because we can get these numbers to add to 4 by tweaking the negatives a little bit. We want this to be negative 4. So I'm going to put the negative with the larger of the two numbers. And there we have it two numbers that multiply to negative 320, but add to negative 4. Okay, so let's put them in here, negative 20 and 16. So our factors become x minus 20, x plus 16 equals 0. Setting each one of these equal to 0 using the zero factor property um, gives us x equals 20, x equals negative 16. But we don't have negative lengths, so that one's out, um, giving us x equals 20. Now, let's go and make sure we've answered the question. So I'm going back up. Find the dimensions. So we're not quite there yet. For the length, we have 20 inches, right? Because we're working in inches here. That's what we solved for down below right here. And then for the width, we plug in 20 here. So we have 1 half times 20 minus 2, so that's 10 minus 2, so 8 inches. 8 inches for the width there. So our width 
eight inches. Okay, length 20 inches. 20 inches length, 8 inches width.